six, five, four, three, two, one. We have liftoff, go super heavy, go starship. Thanks for all the historic flights, bad one. Catch you downrange. Booster Raptor chamber pressure nominal. All right, we are about 45 seconds into flight. We're still getting the rattle here at Star Factory. We are seeing 33 out of 33 Raptor engines lit on super heavy. Max Q. Right, so, so at this point, we've passed through that period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. The next the thing we're looking going to be coming up uh, in just a little over a minute. At that point, we're going to see all but three of those Raptor engines on super heavy shut down. And then after that, we're going to release the clamps that are currently holding Starship to that hot stage adapter, it's then going to ignite its six Raptor engines to push it away from Super Heavy and then start making its flight uphill. So in about 30 seconds, we're gonna see the engine start to shut down on Super Heavy. You'll see them kind of shut off in separate banks until we've just got those three center engines that never stop running for this. Ship ignition. Stage separation. Do spec burn startup. All right, successful hot staging maneuver. So we've got 12 of the 13 engines lit back up. It's on. landing burn. There's a cool tracking shot. We dump some of the prop out on our way back in. All right, so for booster, this is one of the main things we're trying to get is gonna be this landing burn. Oh, that's, so you can see the hot stage kind of making its way towards the very, the left side. So that's the bottom of the booster. It's about to pass right in front of where you can see some of that prop dump happening. They look Here. like they're close to- um, Great to see that booster is making its way down to the splashdown zone in the Gulf. Yeah, the shaking down here was absolutely we'll nothing. A 13 engine landing burn to slow down. This time it will be in a V3 configuration. And as we're starting to get into the denser part of the atmosphere, the booster is using four hypersonic grid fins to guide itself through atmospheric entry towards its landing site. And we're just Ship about 20 seconds away from landing burn start, where we'll ig first ignite the center 13 engines, then bring that down to five to slow down the booster for landing. And finally, that will come down to three, and we'll cut all of them off while we're still about 200 meters in the air. So booster is going to see a bit of a hard <laughs> Booster landing burn start up. Booster landing burn shut down. And there we heard it. Booster landing burn shut down. We saw a 13 to 5 to 3 V3, V3 demonstration. And into the water we go. we go. Really cool to see Booster go through that uh, that landing burn. That was one of our like really key demonstrations we wanted to try and do today. Um, is that's mimicking what we're going to be hopefully Lots doing more still to come great seeing super heavy make its way to the water uh, but i'm excited to see what ship can do in space how's everybody doing down there to open up this payload door. We were able to do this successfully for the very first time uh, on our last flight, on flight 10. Ooh.
Looks like we got, looks like we got a little bit of movement there, Dan. Coax it out. Get it moving, Jake. There we go. All right. First one going out. Takes about a minute for each one. Had a couple of bumps on the way out, but moving out super clean this time. Yeah, and as noted earlier in the show, but definitely worth repeating, Starship will deploy Starlink's more advanced V3. I think that's number four. Somebody check my math. There we go. Oh, rep recognition. And shut down. All right, there was that Raptor relight. So we will hear a call out when the Sun's starting to come up again. We Ooh, there we go. There we go. So not expecting to see that. Dynamic right, pressure then... is coming down. Hope nobody gets seasick. All right, coming up on Transonic shortly. It's about two and a half minutes of landing burn. Yeah, and once we get to around the 15 kilometer altitude mark, that's where we have a lot of flight history. Starship is Transonic, starting the belly flop phase of flight. Yep, that belly flop phase that we perfected in the suborbital campaigns. We're entering that now. So it's right behind the launch and catch tower. Flaps holding strong. Landing burn in just under 20 seconds. Ship landing startup. There's our landing burn. Three down to two. Starship has landed. As we said, we're not planning on recovering the ship today. Hey, welcome back to Earth Starship. 